Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Black Heart Beauty Cancer and Maniology MXM001. Today I'm going to try something that I saw Miss Nora do over on NAQ57. I am using this Burt's Bees cuticle cream and a brush to apply it on my nails as a peel off base. This is a test. Stay tuned. We'll see if this works. Um, I'll have to give you an update at the end of the video or maybe next time or down in the description box to see how well this worked. So I am applying this to all of my nails just using a brush. Um, I saw Nora do this last week and I could not wait to try it. I will leave a link to her video down below if you would like to go check it out and see where she learned how to do this. You know, this thread, sometimes you end up finding other channels to watch. and. Um, people to learn from. So I thought this was really interesting and I was really excited to try it. Um, it goes on real nice and smooth. I'm looking at it like it's a good thing because it's, you know, you're getting that um, cuticle protection all over that nail and it's, you know, like a treatment for your nails. So I will be applying my Nail Teaks Formula 2 over the top of this. Um, since it is a peel off, I have learned that the thicker my manicures are, the easier my peel off will be later. So there we go with that. Here's the skull bottle. This is the Black Heart Beauty Cancer. And it is from the Zodiac Collection. And I'm going to cap my free edge real quick here. Do that first before I do my first coat. This is another one of those polishes that Miss Shannon sent me. She knows that I'm a cancer because we're like cancer buddies. We're both cancers and um, she knew I needed this polish in my life and she was so right. It is gorgeous. It is stunning. So I'm going to go in with the second coat and look at it. Oh, it levels out so nicely on its own. It's such a beautiful, I guess, teal, aqua, I don't know. I, I'm not very good at describing polishes, but then it's got some scattered hollow in it. Look at that. Gorgeous. Love it, love it. I'll be topping it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls and get it to dry down really well before we do anything else with this. And I told you already that I've got a stamping plate picked out, so that is going to be our nail art today. Some more stamping. Going to be sure to cap my free edge there. Look how pretty. <laughs> I love it. So, we're going to use this Maniology MXM001 plate. This was from one of my Manny and Me boxes. I am going to have to peel that blue film off real quick and clean that plate with some acetone. <clears throat> I'll be using Nicole Diary NS04, the silver, and Nicole Diaries NS07, the baby blue, um, my AliExpress stamper, and that Beauty Scraper. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to stamp this one out um, first in silver. And I'm only doing two nails today. I'm doing my ring finger and my middle finger nails. Trying to get that kind of centered. It's kind of hard for me to tell. I have trouble centering things up, which is why I normally shy away from images like this, but we're playing, so we're gonna give it a go. And I'm gonna do that very same design and color on the middle nail. Let's see if I can line it up, there we go. So there we go, we've got the silver ones down, and now I'm going to go in with that baby sky blue and um, do that right over the top, kind of offset from the silver stamping. Did pretty good, pretty proud of myself. And we're going to clean that plate off again with some acetone and do it again for the next nail. This plate is working out really well. I'm not having any issues with it. And now to try to line this second one up. Come on, girl, you can do it. Ta-da! So there we go. So I'm gonna go in with a piece of tape and try to get up some of this excess from around my fingers. And it's coming up pretty good, not perfect, but I'll take it. 
There we go. Push down. Just get as much of it up as I can before I move on to my other cleanup. With the acetone and a cleanup brush. I do really love this base color, so I did not want to cover all of that up. And I was just feeling in a little circly kind of mood, I guess. I do like this image, though. So I am cleaning that up with my acetone here real quick. And I do have some of that acetone additive in here, which keeps it from drying my skin up just too much. I'm, I'm, I'm sold on that additive stuff. So I use so much of the pure acetone, and I don't want it to be too harsh on my nails and my cuticles. So I'm going to top this one with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. And once it's dry, I will be topping it with my next top coat. So there we go. I'm going to be using the Fast and Hard again from Vibrant Vinyls today. Seal it all in. And I really did like this one. I love that base color and that hollow. I'm just so happy with it. But I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Here's my swatch photo. And that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Alrighty, my friends. I wanted to show you real quick um, kind of the wear how this worked out for me using the Burt's Bees as a peel-off base coat. Um, I wore this all day at work and I didn't lose any of my polish, which was really surprising. And um, I've only got just a little bit of a chip down here towards the end of this one. Maybe a little bit of wear underneath here from, you know, on the other ones. But let's give this a go just got my little cuticle pusher and I'm just trying to pry up the edge well this one's got a patch on it so it might not be as um, as, as, as easy to let loose nope so we're gonna skip that I'm gonna do that with nail polish remover but that's not a good test but unless you wanted to know how it did over like gel I've got a gel patch on that one so here we go let's get this one ooh there we go it's coming out very nicely. And that came up in one piece. How surprising. Now, I, I shouldn't be too surprised because I did see Nora do this. So, um, pop <laughs> and pop. So, there we go. So, using Burt's Bees Cuticle Cream out of the little tin totally works on natural nails. And it might work on this one, but I'm not going to since I've already got a patch on it, I don't want to be messing with that. So I just wanted to wrap this up and give you guys an idea of how that works. So there you have it. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.